It was quite nice. Real oh. time, too. That shit wasn't... Yeah. Super wise. Real time. I feel you. Real time. That shit wasn't sped up or nothing. It was real time. She was just like, no, it was legit. I'm not lying super, to you, as fast as they do in the anime, bro. What? what? She just, mm-hmm. yeah, dude, she just had that much dexterity in her hands. It was really high. Damn, that's crazy. She's a real nigga. Yeah, it was pretty intense. <laughs> mm. All right, we starting. Let me let me play this intro, man. I got some shit to tell y'all boys. Uh oh. Same. Can't wait to change this. I love it, but can't wait to change it. It's twenty twenty one. Where's the new hotness? All right, listen, 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 listen. Hello, all. I'm going to try to be as energy filled as I can because I'm tired as fuck. It's been a very <laughs> long week. I am very tired. I have yeah. a very strong cup of coffee and I'm very still, I'm still very happy to be here. Welcome to A Lot About Nothing, episode 39. Thank you all for watching. If you watch, thank you all for listening. If you listen, bless. Blessings all around. I am the Kula. This is my man, Trey the Third. How's it going? And on the Zimmy Zimmy Zoom, we got V Money. V Money say the people. Your sound disappeared, Chris. No! Your mic, that is. Really? Yeah, you're like super, super soft. Uh, really? That's not good. No, nah, that's on you, son. I'm, I'm lit. I mean, hold on, V Money. Do you hear me clearly? It was weird because you, like, you started, we started at the song and stuff, and then you just faded down your volume just <laughs> faded off why technology problem my volume is nice and high what about your what how about now it's it's getting up there how about now well how about a little now? more 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 how more about now? Well, how about now there you how go about now? yeah yeah all right that means i gotta turn up uh my man too because me as well hello do you know you're, 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 you're up you're up you up excellent you're up i can hear yeah yeah all right, bad, bad, bad. All right, we weird. back. It like it lowered by itself. That's weird. Yeah. Huh. We bike. We we never left, but we bike. Like I said, thank you guys for listening and watching. We are on most of your streaming apps, preferably the good ones like SoundCloud, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, uh, Google Play Podcasts, um, Intune, which is a really cool one. A uh, bunch of other ones. Check out our link tree at our Instagram. At a lot about pod, at a Twitter, at a lot about pod. All right? Honestly, this new energetic Dakula is so fun. <laughs> Listen, I'm like really happy. New year, new me, bro. What I'm, <laughs> what I'm trying to do. <laughs> I, <laughs> I like it. I like it a lot. I'm I'd like to, to bring the audience in. You oh, boy. I, mean? I like the immersion here. Yeah, this is yeah, strong. yeah, man. This is a new, a new direction. And yeah, I dude. It. Yeah, I like it. Fellas, how are you guys? Um, I'll let V Money go first. V Money, how are you, man? Oh, that's how a are you, question. and why aren't you here? Well, you, it's you, as you can tell, I am reporting in from a remote location. Yeah, very, very top I, secret. Top secret. I can't imagine no, why. No, it's just my house. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, you see, your boy took a vacation mm. back to when Christmas started. Mm. And then 2021 rolled in. We had to take a COVID test mm. to get back into the office, uh, mm. like January 4th or some shit. Word, word. And your boy's COVID test came back positive. Posies? What? Not the yeah. posies. <sighs> so I had to quarantine myself yeah, to, uh, for the protection of others. Just to, you know, those that he loves we and safe. cares about, you know, we yeah. safe out uh, here and a lot about pod. We it's safe. been wait, it's been f- about fourteen days now, yeah. fifteen days uh, with no symptoms. Nice. I t- took a second test on Wednesday, this past Wednesday, mm-hmm. and that one came back negative. Negative. Good, good. I got so, you. I got you with the. Uh, you know what I mean? Yeah. Negative. We appreciate a negative but, uh, <laughs> We're gonna 
still vibing out at home just to quarantine a little extra just to be sure you got always got to go over yeah yeah. the cup got to run it's over fam's covid tests also came back negative so super dope everyone's everyone's good here double applause bro (laughs) double applause (laughs) everyone's good here everyone's good man bless fingers Fingers crossed. Lesson so it's first, on. there we go. First, the first dub of 2021. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, 2021. Yeah, I beat COVID. <laughs> progress, y'all. Progress. <laughs> first dub, baby. <laughs> dub. Oh man. Nice. Good to hear, man. But other than that, you doing all right, bro? Yeah, man. I mean, for what pretty much happened is just my vacation was extended for two more weeks. Yeah. Paid vacation. Yeah, I I still got paid. <laughs> yeah, talk to him, King. What's up? So, talk to him. We get paid out here. Just right. you know, woke up and be like, all right, what am I gonna do today? I don't know. Exists, <laughs> exists, bro. Or exists. That's right. Don't let LLC Twitter get to you. Why haven't you started an LLC? Why haven't you started a business? <laughs> <Bro>. <laughs> all this time, you could have started a business. It's stupid, man. It's wild right now. Like, I, I like LLC Twitter. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm glad. That people are realizing um, that it is possible for everyone to make businesses now. That's great. I'm glad for them. But like also realize like some people don't want to go through that work and are very okay. Like just being farmers or like just doing a more simple life. Like there's nothing wrong with just wanting to like live on a chunk of land, exist and uh, do day to day existence. Nothing's wrong with that. It's okay to not have to struggle or not want to have to struggle to be a business entrepreneur sometimes. But uh, that's okay. People are like that. I mean, we're not like that because fam, I'm trying to like like make something with art and whatnot. Yeah. But I'm just yeah. saying, for the record, don't don't hate people who might not be the most ambitious in the world. Don't hey, hate do them. Do you want Do you want to put it out there? Oh, like your new John? Oh, yes. so hey you guys. want to put it out there? Okay, so uh, how I'm doing, I guess. So yeah. um, I'm going. Oh. I'm starting a Patreon. Yo, oh, oh, yeah. yeah. Subscribe to my oh man's my Patreon. It, it's getting there. It's getting there. We're, 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 we're <laughs> I'm saying it through um, a couple editors right now, just making sure all the text makes sense. Um, and now I'm just like populating the page with uh, with art, and um, I'm like I'm creating a, a new card game. So I'm now populating it with a lot of the upcoming artwork for that game. And uh, I'm also doing this cool thing called like days, daily musings. And you know how I like to talk about like spirituality and politics and consciousness and all that. So it's literally just like a little mini blog where I get to just kind of muse randomly about the random things I'm thinking about. With Blessings. All that. So what else happened? Um, oh my God! So I'll, I'll also listen. Rate yourself, bro. <laughs> rate yourself. I'll, I'll, so okay, oh, dang. Okay, that's pretty hype. Okay, so also yes, at the mm-hmm. Arch Garage, the the show's been going down. So it, it, they've also extended it. So it's actually going to be going for February oh. as well. So I'm I'm in um, the Arch Garage uh, gallery for January and February right now, and, and one of the pictures have sold, which is also really hype, and I'm excited. About, nice. So. It's awesome. Yeah. I'm excited. Yeah. Congratulations on your first solo picture, man. Congratulations. How, oh, man. How, how much did they extend it by? Um, another month. So it's going to be all of February as well. Your, your pieces, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. All, all my pieces and other two artists who are in there as well. But I mean, hey, yeah. I can I can actually make it. Yeah. yeah. Yes. You actually survive. Yes. <laughs> yes. I'm so sad. I missed it right? when you were me. doing your show. I know, bro. It's okay. It's your okay. boy was here. <laughs> <laughs> Doing Ugh. the responsible thing. That's Listen, okay. man. Listen, if you live in Delray Beach, go downtown to the Arts Garage. Go please see do. my man's exhibit. Oh, man, please do. And and also, again, the, the name of the Patreon. It's going to be Ethicus Art um, is the Patreon. So you could it was a patreon.com forward slash um, Ethicus Art, I believe. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, yeah. So it'll be. Um, yeah, we, 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 we moving up in the world. Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm subscribe proud. now so that when he's famous, you could say I got an original sense. Oh, yeah. Yes. I'm actually doing like these little loyalty programs for like the the, the higher tiers. And so um, I'm, we're going to have like stickers, mugs, posters, stuff like that. The adorable Patreon stuff. And uh, yeah, man. So yeah. Progress. Yeah. Subscribe now. Progress. So that when he's famous, <laughs> you can say I got an original oh, the man. third. Stop you know it. what I mean? The feels. Stop it. All right. <laughs> My man's going to be great, man. He's going to be famous. Yeah, man. man. It's progress. Um, I'm doing okay. God dang, he gets me every time. I'm doing, doing no, he said, no, he said he had he, he said he had a bunch of stuff to tell us. That's not true. Sex, 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 it wasn't sex. a bunch. It's not a bunch of stuff, but it's some stuff that I want to bring up. Okay. So recently, okay. I applied for um, I applied for a promotion at work. Oh, oh that's right. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah, nice. yeah. I didn't get it. Oh, I didn't get it. They gave, but they're giving me the position that's one tier lower. 
which is fine. Okay. 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 I'll accept it, but I, that's not what I wanted. Yeah. Exactly. You feel me? I was still a little sad. I'm like, fuck yeah, this place. Yeah, I hop right on Indeed. I'm like, where else can I work? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want it anymore. I hate it here. They're horrible people. I fucking hate it here. <laughs> but I mean, I'm grateful. No, still got a job getting promoted, blessings, you know. It's yeah. just it's not what I shot for. I understand. Right. right and I right. just feel like I'm being underutilized there. And just, yeah, I mean, I, I'm just going to keep working hard, and another opportunity will come that will be more lucrative, hopefully. There you go. Hopefully. That's right. That's good. Yeah. Besides that, my boy uh, Rolf from Ed, Ed, and Eddie always said, Life is filled with many open doors. <laughs> Ed boy. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, Rolf was a dude. Yo, oh my, my favorite God. line from Rolf is, you'll pay for your crimes, you still in piece of white bread. <laughs> <laughs> bro, listen, bro, don't disrespect Yo, the son of a shepherd, bro. I saw That's all I'm saying. Fags. Bro, don't That's disrespect fags, the son of a shepherd, bro. bro. <laughs> Mess you up, dude. I saw a meme where it was Hillary <laughs> in the face, because he was saying that to Kevin, and it was Hillary's face on there. <laughs> It's like you'll pay for your crime. You still in piece of white oh, bread. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. Funny, hilarious. I love Rolf. Uh, it's Crazy dude. Crazy as hell. But I love mm-hmm. Rolf. Double D was my favorite character, but Rolf was probably the second most yeah, for yeah. Uh, for me. Facts. Just, my name's literally Edward, y'all. Yeah. How can I not yeah, like the show? D. Come yeah, on, y'all. Yeah. It was a show about like me. Eds. Like, <laughs> come on, Eds. You fit. <laughs> um, um, what but, else is going on? Oh, I, I've been at home for like by myself for the last week because my brother went to Mexico. On a vacation with his, with his girl, yeah. Healthy. Which part? Weird. I don't know. Healthy, I guess. It, it's not Tulum. It's not Tulum because. where everybody else is. So going. I won't lie. I definitely wouldn't be traveling out the country right now. Oh, wow. Probably no. for like. Especially no, not no. to Mexico. This year. No. I, no, next. I'll probably go somewhere, somewhere in March. I'm trying to go to Colombia. I want to see how the climate. I want to see how everything is in like March. I still get some time to die down. I don't know. I I get people die down that fast. I get people want to travel. I feel y'all, but no, it's not gonna die down that fast. I like do not see traveling on this country like this year for me. Like like chill. This was always gonna last at least two years. That's what I'm saying. Like bolster, look bolster your defenses. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just get your funds right now. Worry about home right now. Yeah, like I feel like a lot of people forget that like humanity goes through phases of crap and i'm like no this is one of those phases where you can just get over it it's going to be sucky for a couple of years let it be sucky be on the defensive a bit that's okay don't feel like because you can't travel all of a sudden life is over like no 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 people for so many centuries of existence lived in the same town bro like yeah we, yeah, we yeah, will yeah. survive <laughs> because yeah sorry we can't you know go on a plane you know and travel across country you will survive i promise if you want a quick fix, you should look up that YouTube, those YouTube videos that it's nothing but like hour long videos of just the traveling. People, no, not even the traveling. There's people just are taking video like hours, hours long videos of them just walking through like different cities in the world. Oh, nice. where? that's pretty cool. No, that's it's cool. really, it's like, it's really, it, like, that's really awesome. You, honestly, you think it's like the most like no. unassuming thing in the world, but a lot That'd of people awesome. like that. Like there's a video know, of like someone there's a there's like a video of like walking through all of amsterdam or like <clears throat> tokyo it's it's nothing but just a straight video of people traveling through the city mm-hmm. that's dope that's awesome yeah. yeah i get it like that that is the experience like people are trying to have though like we want to have those what are the everyday sounds walking on the street what are the smells of walking? i mean you can't smell it but like what what are the what are the what is the aesthetic of going down this street what is the history what are people saying how does it feel to go down that street? And yeah, heck yeah, yeah I imagine yeah, yeah. people now with the uh, with all those VR goggles and whatnot. I could totally see people doing yeah, like immerse a, yourself the VR walk, you know, and you just put on the headset. The next couple of years, man. Good. The next couple of years is going to be the age of like the wave, the giant wave of technology. Oh yeah, especially dude. experiencing quantum, things virtually, yeah. man. Between quantum computing and virtual reality becoming like basically being the next. Um, kind of path, I think, of like games and movies and yeah. entertainment. I think VR is, is it is just the next step of entertainment. Got to, gotta be, you know, gotta be. We're already imagining it in all of our current forms of entertainment. It's what we're imagining, and it's what our scientists are working towards. You know, I'm glad you mentioned quantum computing. That's that concept is crazy. Every I'm time. not gonna get into it, but every time. Listen, if y'all want to see some shit you won't understand. Look at some quantum computing. Google the double <laughs> Google the double slit experiment. It will explain everything to you. There you go. It is an awesome experiment where it literally explains that until you are viewing a particle, 
it exists just as a probability, mm. just as, as a in this general area, the particle exists until you take a telescope and specifically look at the particle. Then it specifically takes this snapshot of you specifically looking at it right now. But then you stop looking at it. It's just a cloud of existence again. Does it? So is it like if a tree falls in the forest and no one's there to hear it, it doesn't make a sound? That's exactly the same exact concept. But the problem is it everything is observing. And the problem is a lot of people can't comprehend how much is observing all the time. Like everything is observing and reacting to everything else. And like, no, um, you know, he, you know, if a human's not there to observe the tree falling, it doesn't need to be. There's right, right, billions right. of leaves around it and ants and bugs and everything else that will experience that there is something occurring there. Mm, you know, okay. There, there doesn't always need to be a reason that something's happening. There just, it just is happening and right. something is there to experience it. Okay. You know, Oh, that's fire. Sorry. I, 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 I've watched too many videos on this quantum thing. So I, I love it. It's really interesting. If you like sci-fi at all, you should have been checking this out. It's really cool. Sick, bro. Yeah. Okay. Um, before we start, I just want to run some, I want to run some by y'all boys. Y'all listening? Okay. Here's a scenario, right? <clears throat> um, a few nights ago, me and the homies who play PlayStation together, we were talking about empathy, right? Okay. And they said, me and my man, uh, Dave, don't have empathy. And let me tell you the scenario that I gave. <laughs> so, all right, let's say Mark, right? Sure. Mark is dating a girl. Sure. Okay. Mark um, Mark is dating, like, a smaller girl, but Mark is used to dating, you know, more robust women. Sure. You feel me? Okay. So, Mark told the smaller girl, while they're, like, a month into, <laughs> like, dating, he's like, yo, you know what? I, I'd really be dating, like, a, a bigger woman, and I'm, like, adjusting myself to smaller women like you. You know, I'm just trying to make a change just so I, you know, get to know you better, feel, uh, uh, get to understand you better and like get to understand your body better. Okay. All that jazz, right? <laughs> so she took this for somehow her woman brain took this as a slight. Mm-hmm. And, and I don't say woman brain to think women brains are bad. Just, Good save, good save. Yeah. Very necessary. It's not, it wasn't, it wasn't like that. I'm, I'm just not, saying. On a show of three guys talking, saying, thank you for saving yourself. Yeah, yeah. I'm just saying, you. like, guys think a little differently. But <laughs> she somehow took it as a slight, and she's like, what are you even talking about right now? What the heck does that mean? It's like, oh, you know, I'm just trying to get to know you better. I'm just trying to, like, adjust myself to you as well. It's just like, I'm used to dating bigger women. Now, Mark thinks he's making sense. But the girl he's dating is like, what the? No, why would you tell a girl that, Mark? Why would what you, the bro? Fuck is that? And so they end up having a fight. Now, when Mark calls her, here's the caveat, right? This was through text. Mark was communicating this through text, okay. where tone oh, is okay. difficult to portray. It, it isn't portrayed, so it's just right. Oh God! So. When they talked on the phone and she finally understood, she's like, oh, well, OK, she was more understanding. Right. Yeah. But she wanted an apology for her misunderstanding what Mark meant. <laughs> Does Mark owe her an apology? <laughs> oh I say God. heck no. But she want, she said that even though you didn't mean to do something, the way the person took it is uh, also your fault. And so you should apologize for not portraying something uh, in a different way. Did she say sorry for misunderstanding it? Yeah, I was going to say, if she wanted an apology for that, she should also apologize for misunderstanding. But even if she apologized for misunderstanding, I don't think Mark should apologize for what he said. It's on that's an unnecessary struggle to me. And I'm it's not about the uh, no, no, no. It's the principle. It's not about the struggle. Forget the struggle. It's the principle. OK, right? OK, OK. Go ahead. So go ahead. if he knows in his heart of hearts this is not what i meant and i he explained what he meant does he mm-hmm. owe her an apology he does not have to say sorry right but hey, listen if he explained yeah, himself like, it, that's I like the explanation I, yeah yeah if he, if he took the time to actually explain himself and what he meant yeah and if he genuinely did not like mean it as a slight i don't I I honestly don't I, think he needs to apologize. Like it's 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 a it's an issue where literally just saying my bad is fine. But like you don't need to say sorry. You'd be like, oh man, might be. I, what I really meant was just blah 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 blah. You explain it away and it's done. You don't need to say a full on like, babe, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to like. Oh, <laughs> yeah, the, dang, my there's bad. no need for theatrics. Yeah, like, like my bad on. for saying it wrong. I really meant this, and she'd be like, oh okay, cool. So <laughs> you're done. And she was fishing for 
compliment or uh, she was fishing for the apology from Mark. Even when the conversation ended, she's like, "You still didn't say I'm sorry." Okay, then you're being extra at that point. That's theatrics, at right? That yeah. Yeah. At that point, you're just being extra for sure. Yeah. Which which then comes down to. Do the people in a relationship, are they usually extra, extra like that? No. You this know? is the first fight they've had. Or the first uh, misunderstanding I mean, they've I, had. That's, yeah, that's, I was going to say, that's a misunderstanding. It's not, that's, yeah, not yeah. A, that's not no goddamn fight. Yeah, no, it's not a fight. It was a misunderstanding. <laughs> so then that again comes back down to, I have seen fights before. So, it, you know, like, I, I have also met people where they're just like, yeah, we just had a really bad fight. And I'm like, no, y'all had a conversation. What do you mean? Like, yeah, I don't you, get what you're talking. Y'all had a conversation. Y'all disagreed on something. You then talked it out and came to a compromise. That's how conversations happen. I've seen legit arguments where, like, it's an argument. So, you know, a lot of times people will do that. Oh, well, I need you to say sorry for it's not. We didn't have an argument. You under mm. you misunderstood something. You told me you didn't understand it. I then and said, I explained this it is to what, you. yeah, this is what I actually meant. You then said, oh, OK, cool. I understand what you mean. I understand. You're good. It's done. It, OK. You weren't supposed to come to an apology. You were supposed to come to an understanding in that right. situation. Right, right, you know, okay. right. If he was like, yo, babe, you're kind of fat and on it, or like, that's kind of weird for me. And like, I, I gotta get yes, used to that. Those I'm pants used to do date. make you look yeah, fat. Yeah, like, I'm, I'm getting used, you know, I, I'm used to dating skinnier women and you're kind of fat. So I'm, I just have to really get used to it. Fam, you better say sorry for calling your girl fat. Like, that was disrespectful. Like, that was <laughs> yeah, just disrespectful. Yeah, that was, uh, okay, come Period. on now. You know, so <laughs> okay. like, the, you know, but I'm just saying, you know, she might have at first, thought he was saying it that way so yeah. she would have wanted an apology then the second he explains it again like okay it just comes down to her personality bro okay. like either she's gonna understand that he doesn't need to say sorry or not the outlier like, here is the method of communication yes right. women friends, okay. don't hate me please men friend don't yeah. judge me please i'm sorry See, i'm a text actor i know i should never say sorry to her <laughs> i didn't oh, need to oh shit I didn't need to. I thought you were asking for a friend. Yes, no. God dang it. No, no. I'm Mark. It's the classic. I'm it's Mark. It's the classic, y'all. I knew it. It's the classic. And they said, I, I don't Mark. have empathy. Oh, my God. And my mans was Jesus like, Christ. arguing me up and down. Like, nah, you, sh- it's, you should have said sorry. They were like, no. It's not what I meant. Friend girl, listen. We did not know it was you. Also, it's Cress. He is just peculiar in a certain way. Also, lady friend, girl, I don't know you, so like, also yeah, no, no, it's it's a past. We don't know this is past. This is the y'all. past. It just came up. Good luck, friends. Yeah, it just came up. This isn't the past. There's nothing going on. If he didn't call I'm you, single, by listen, the way. I will yeah, say, if, my, if, my line. if he didn't call you fat and simply said, in the past, he has happened to seem to have had a preference in the past and is learning that his preference was closed. Thus, he needs to open it more because he's learning there's far more out there now. That's a man who has shown that he is wiser. I should have called my man. And has already apologized. I should have called my man. That he is wiser. Look at the cake he just put on this. It's all I'm trying to say. Bro, it's like, it's like you know, say. like the anger interpreter that uh, <laughs> Obama had. <laughs> His anger interpreter. <laughs> Trace your uh, <laughs> Eloquent interpreter. Bro. I knew right I was interpreted. Oh my god! No, definitely not. <laughs> See, what 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 really ticked me off was that she was fishing for the sorry. I gave it yeah. to her anyway, but I'm like, I, I I don't feel like I'm in the wrong here. I mean, you know, I mean, sometimes in life, you just gotta. You I just hate gotta that. Throw that. I, I will I hate that so I will, much. I will say I've learned that that is. That is a frustrating thing that I think is just a learned. It is a and frustrating thing, but it's definitely the path of least it's, resistance. It's, it's a learned. <laughs> see, it's a At learned. Times. It's a learned passiveness that I think um, people of color and women have had to learn. And we, when we interact with each other, like do it to each other and get <laughs> mad at each other for doing it. And like I see us butt heads all the time, but I actually never. No disrespect to Caucasian people. I just don't see this as an, I haven't seen this as an issue with between Caucasian men before. Mm. I've seen this as an issue between men of color, women of color, mm-hmm. um, white women. I've seen this literally between everyone who isn't a Caucasian male. And I say it because I feel like this is a, a, a very, um, again, just look at humans and human history. Like it's white colonialism has kind of led things and kind of altered and decided society for like a lot of the world, like a third minimum. So because of that, you know, with that in mind, okay, (laughs) it's not surprising that men of color, women of color, and even white women, all of us who simply aren't white men have this issue of, 
oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, you need to say sorry to me. Or no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We have like, we have to forgive or we have to not offend. You know, we're all stuck in that. Oh, please don't offend each other type of thing. Yeah, man. But then we're also stuck in the we have to be. We're trying to build our pride again, and so like there are plenty of times where like you will be mad at black people for saying the N word, but happy at black people for saying the N word. Like I know in high school, it was a conversation between black people of, yo, do we say the N word or not? Is yeah. it uncomfortable or comfortable to say the N word? Yeah, it's in music, that's great, but there's also adults in music who are saying it. We're not, we're still kids. When and why is it, is it appropriate? You know, then there's um, black people from the Caribbean who are coming through or from Jamaica, from Haiti, they're coming in. They're just like, we literally don't understand why racism is even that huge of a thing over here. What are you talking about? So it's a very American thing. I think also is just to like butting heads and like that old feeling of, well, we don't want to make, we don't want to make master mad. I'm not saying like, (laughs) that's not what we're trying to do. We don't want to do that, but bro, 400 years of it, of like that conditioning. And we have to fight out of it. Because we still get mad when, like, we're challenged by, like, submissiveness. You know, like, if a black dude is challenged and someone's like, oh, you're acting like a girl, you're acting like a wimp, you're acting like this. Fam, that macho-ness comes out, and that's why black dudes were in struggles all the time in high school. Because we, we were trying to to push that masculinity. I'm sorry, I go forever about this. this yeah, I, I was about to say, I think just relationship troubles. I'm sorry, Pop. And you know, went to slavery. I'm sorry, y'all. Listen, for all it. of my... Because it's all... Listen, because it all relates. It matters. Listen. It, no, it relates. It all goes back. Listen, I'm with you. Politics. Politics. I'm with you. Listen, for all of my emotionally stuffed men out there, it's okay to cry. All right? You can cry. You can be you can be soft with your lady, not with Shell. Shell, Shell needs a hard in the <laughs> <laughs> <Hardened> man. <laughs> Don't cry around Shell. Stop, she's gonna fight us, bro. Stop. She's gonna come fight us with a new PC. <laughs> well, yeah, she got a better computer, yeah, bro. Right? We can't yeah, say yeah, nothing, bro. Yeah, yeah. Dog, we need to do the IQ bro, yet. The I'm IQ. so Stop sorry, playing, but man. I'm but I'm I'm like energized up and I no, need, it's fine. Get hype. Look, I need more coffee. By this, the way, <laughs> no, it, it honestly works out because this whole conversation is going to be about like social things. Yeah, so it works people. out. Yeah, so get, so get to out. it. We'll go to IQ. Right, it so works out. IQ stands for inter- inter- interesting question. If you guys have never seen this, if you're first time watching this, hey, thanks for joining. But IQ stands for interesting question. It's a question where I ask any one of us can ask. Um, this week is me. And none of them know the question yet. And I actually forgot the question until two minutes ago when I'm like, fuck, what was the IQ? So <laughs> I remember that. Um, IQ, do, should we have, well, should people get a mental health test before they become parents, before they have children? <clears throat> I'll leave that to y'all. I was thinking about that um, not too long ago because I saw, I mean, there's mad, terrible parents out there. And you know how we say some people don't need to have children. I was thinking about that. I'm like, what if we had some sort of mental health test that you could take before, like you have to tell someone or not yet before you can have a child, you have to take like a mental, you know how they take a parenting class or something. Yes, 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 yes. You have to take like a mental health test or like some sort of mental health class. Um, I think it shouldn't even be tied just to mental health. Well, that was just the, the area yeah, I was thinking yeah. about, but I feel you. But yes. I, I, I mean, it, it doesn't have to be like super formal, like a SAT or something, but I think there should still be like some sort of check for like mental healthness, uh, general knowledge of children and whatnot mm. and responsibility. That's a good one. I agree. Cause um, there's some people out there that should not have children. Mad people, yeah. mad and people. I know people. the fact that, I, I, I don't know. It's just a whole conversation. Like, if you're going to bring it life into this world, you you better be goddamn ready to. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah, it's yeah, not yeah. a, it's not an it's easy not a task. Joke. No, not yeah. at all. Which is why I've always been hesitant about kids. Uh, as, um, as like an ignorant species, like it, we were animals, duh. So we were just worried about reproducing. But the right. second we start evolving right. and realizing we can do more in life, like, yeah, we can now focus more on each of our existence instead of the humanity's continued existence as a whole. Like, I mean, obviously we still got to worry about like pollution. We still got to worry about fertility and humans existing. But like, the, the, again, the more educated we get, the more we know that there's more to do besides just reproduce. 
you know. Right. Super facts. Uh, I'm, I'm going on Twitter right now because I'm trying to figure out what my man asked me. He asked a good question. Hold on one sec. It was like, uh, hey, was shout like, out to the coolest man's. <laughs> facts. I'm gonna see if I get my Twitter uh, password in one go. Go ahead, man. Oh, wow. It's not. I'm not gonna get. It. No, but definitely. Um, no, I, I think it, uh, you you definitely have to have a. I shouldn't say have to. I'm sorry. <sighs> The same way I think that we need a better psyche valve for president. Okay. Um, the same mm-hmm. way I think we we need to fix our entire education system so Facts. that the general education is better mm-hmm. and the average person will get a good base education. You know, Big there, there, facts. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of steps that there should be eventually... Gradually, you should move towards having in place tests that ensure a person is able to make sure that they can take care of a child. But that does not necessarily take this test, then you can have a child. It's more of a, is this person stable test? What is your yes. psychological state? Yeah, what is yeah. your financial state? Because yeah. once, like once certain, the hierarchy of needs, but once those needs are met for a person, no matter what, then they can take care of a, ch- a child or at least birth a child, you know, and, and be sure that they can like provide nutrients for it or at least, I don't know, give it for adoption, but give it for adoption with supplies, you yeah, know, yeah. not just send them to a foster home and the foster home gets no more extra money. I can't, and yeah, I can't hopefully remember they the can take care of it. I can't remember the Twitter, well, but, but he asked a really good question. I think he said like who, uh, who determines the results or who gives the test or how, how would it be measured? Somewhere along those lines. Oh, how those te- how that test yeah, was measured? Yeah, how you measured? And yeah, I'm like, well, that how indeed? Yeah, I, I don't know the answer, but it would have to be definitely an unbiased test racially. Um, uh, it shouldn't have to be gender specific. Oh no, that, that's why it, I, like that's I said, why it's a mental it test. Has yeah. to go with yeah, um, your financial capabilities. Mm. Um, it has to go with like the time that you guys have. If one parent, if, if both parents are working at night. And literally no one is home for like nine hours of the night. Okay, you guys can't have a kid right now. I'm sorry. Mm. It's, it's not going to work out. Or you guys need to change your life before you can have the kids. So then there's going to, of course, be like child counselors. Not like in school counselors, but literally people who talk to you. And they're like, hey, this is how you plan for your child. You're going to have to switch your schedule around here. You got to talk to your job and do blah, blah, blah. <laughs> so the thing is, it just comes with a lot more accommodation in a lot of different aspects. Yeah, we yeah. need more like social workers who would like... Imagine hiring a million more social workers because their job specifically is to go evaluate every family, see what is stopping them from being able to host a child, whatever is stopping them, help them with those programs. Mm. Like Simple as that. Like, do they have the money to do this? Why don't they have the money to do that? Well, he needs a job. Okay, help him get a job. What is she doing? Well, she's at home, but she has this sickness. Okay, why don't they have health care? All right, well, we got to help this with health care. So there needs to be people who are down to help like each family with those struggles, get them to a stable spot. Then they can worry about having a child, a child, chilled, a child, a child. (laughs) Then they can worry about having a child, you know, like not that parents are a stepping off point, but no, like parents construct a platform, create the next thing that can then jump off that platform. That's that's evolution. So if we're all constructing crappy platforms and kids are jumping off of poverty, yeah, they're going to end up they're, out. They're starting in poverty. It's not going to work out. <laughs> you know? I mean, it also would it have to be a test created by mental health, unbiased mental health professionals that like know the parameters and know what they're doing. That's what like, I'm saying. It has, it to, has be to be fair, vetted you know? like strictly. Like I don't know the parameters, but I was just wondering: should there be some sort of mental health test for people no, I, who I totally, want to have kids? I, no, there totally should be. And I think there should there should be a mental health test for people who want to have kids, for people who want to keep yeah. driving after like thirty or forty or like fifty or some crap. Yeah, um, like. Th- there's those are things that deserve to have tests for them, not yeah, being yeah, in yeah. high school and you got to take a test every week. That's stupid, bro. Our kids are so tired of life already that by the time they get out of high school, they're they're mad that they're, they have to go to college now. Like that's unfair to our kids. Education shouldn't be something that sucks. You should like be happy that you're able to freaking learn everything we want now. Like, <sighs> sorry, I, I get frustrated at the education system because like they don't care about our teachers. Because the teachers mm-hmm. are screwed over, the teachers aren't able to teach our kids to the best of their ability. Because their kids aren't taught to the best of their ability, they leave school with the same it down. nonsense. Trickle it down. Of, of Trickle it down. I'm sorry. You're going to go. You're going to take off. 
I get there. Trickle it down. Forgive me. Continue. All right. Continue. All right. Speaking of people who shouldn't have kids, anybody who swam the capital shouldn't have kids. Renounce your kids. Give them back. Oh. <laughs> give them all back because you broke the social contract. See, here's the thing. You shouldn't have done what you did. And you know what's funny? You know that one lady who's like, we're storming the Capitol. It's a revolution. Just in her voice when, they, when they're like, I think, was she the one that got punched in the face? Someone got punched in the face? Too? Yeah, she got, oh, oh yeah, wow. it was her. She got punched in the face. Because wow. she was, I guess it was um, these black girls in the circle. I don't know what they were doing, but she reached for like, he, she reached to like touch over the black girl with a quickness, a straight right. Bow, done. <laughs> She's bleeding. <laughs> one time. She might be a boxer. I ain't gonna hold you. <laughs> oh my god! But punch the lady, and then the dude was interviewing her. And as he's interviewing her, you could hear like the white tears in her voice, like she's a victim. But somehow we're starting with the capital. It's a revolution. I, I, I just think it's funny because it's a revolution. Um, oh I just boy. think it's funny because a lot of the rhetoric that they were spewing is the same exact rhetoric from like Black Lives Matter. Yeah, and dog. so like they're saying the exact same things we were saying when there were actual civil issues yeah, man. and like now they didn't get their way so they're trying to use all the rhetoric rhetoric we were using so they get to go but but why are you mad at us we were doing we're just doing the same thing you were doing yeah no but you're, you're not. not you're not you're not you're not really fine for him, that's just man. not the case and your man um your man donnie got impeached again really he's a legend to be honest with you one term, yeah. two impeachments. What a guy! That's a martyr, man. He, he, what a guy! He's somehow only been martyred. They've only they only love him more now. Even That's crazy. Though, even though he told them he would lead them on the Capitol, then literally as a coward, scurried away and left them to just kind of all fiddle around with their thumbs up their butts at the Capitol. Mm. They're actually going to love him more now because there are people who still are just like guys. The Democrats are a cabal trying to screw. Yeah, so how, man. How can't you see that? And like they're still they're on that. They're yeah. ignoring. That the capital is just raided, and they're just like, you, you can't. How you get him beat twice? Here's the thing: they still haven't removed them from office, probably yep. because Young Joey gets in next week. Yeah, and like it's funny because a lot of the people that um that stormed the capital, first uh, of all, they're getting found you. out. Hold on. <laughs> they're getting found out. Yeah. Um, they're getting found out on social media, like. They're FBI's to, on well, Twitter. Yeah, because yeah. they posted themselves all over the goddamn exactly. place. The no? FBI's like, on Twitter, guys. They're the all fuck? trying to fly back now, and they're all getting on the no-fly list because yeah. they're actual terrorists. Yeah, that no. one dude was mad because he's on the no-fly list. I'm like, well, your actions Simpleton. have consequences, son. <laughs> yeah, well, you trying to fly out the country because you, you did some Simpleton, bullshit? Simpleton, bro. Simpleton. <laughs> like, they know what they're doing. They know what they're doing because when they, they're they flying as far away as possible, as quick as possible. Yeah, yeah, They were yeah. flying away because they knew exactly they what they They knew exactly doing. what was going to happen. They wanted to go in there. They put a little the thing over their face. They're mm -hmm. like, awesome, no one will know it was me. I'll make a couple posts on Facebook, but surely no one is actually listening to that. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, no, they're all getting screwed over now. So The dude who stole Nancy Pelosi's podium faces a year in jail. Uh, right, did you, did you see, for me, right? did y'all see the clip of him, uh, at a press, uh, news press conference with no. his lawyer? No, I did not. Oh, right. I saw it. No, I saw so it. his lawyer was like, yes, there was a picture of my client. Uh, yes, at the Capitol building at this time. Yes, taking the it was the stealing podium. what oh looks to be Pelosi's lectern, and uh, and then the the reporter was like, "How do you how do you defend that?" He's like, "I, I don't know." know it's my <laughs> <laughs> He's like, "I don't know." <laughs> What do you He's do? like, I'm not a magician. I'm not a magician, <laughs> yeah. man. It's there. The, the boy said, like, I'm not a magician. Like, somewhere along those lines, like, I'm like, not a miracle <laughs> worker, a magician, or blah, 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 blah. blah. But yes, yeah. that was my <laughs> client. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah you bro, can't defend come that. on. You can't defend that. Like, bro, you only last so much, but there's a picture of it, bro. Like, it's right ah! there, bro. He's like carrying the podium. You can't oh, say it's Lord. not you. And they've been finding people through facial recognition software. It's stupid. Yeah, yeah so it's you, stupid. really, you can't hide if you've done some bullshit. So, Especially if you fucking post, post it, it all over. Oh Bro, God. come on. Come on. Like this. It's stupid, man. All criminals are dumb. Well, all caught criminals are dumb. <laughs> okay. All caught criminals. None of them That's are. Smart. Uh, I like that. That's good. That's good. <laughs> I've, seen, I've seen criminal minds, bro. A lot of them are uh, really smart, bro. Uh, I, I seen it. I seen it. <laughs> All right, boys, uh, we're going to talk about social contracts for a little bit because we are 40 minutes in, mm -hmm. but that's okay. I mean, uh, we had a lot of catching up to do. That's right? true, dude. Yeah, that's true. We were away for a week. It's been a hot 
Man. It's been a minute, bro. <laughs> it's right. It's been a minute. Honestly, we'll probably spill this conversation a bit over into the uh, next episode. Probably. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just because, yeah. like, I, I actually really like this topic. I think it's really important. I right? think it's dope. Like I was I thinking about it because, well, the reason I came up with it is because I, I don't like going to the grocery store anymore. That, Especially not on the weekends. That's what caused it? Yeah. That's wild because I'm laying right now, bro. <laughs> Literally, the, the, the Capital Riot got me so mad. And then you said this was the topic. And I was just like, yo, this is perfect because I feel like this is... This is all about that topic, bro. Like social contract, they broke the crap out of that social contract, they broke the social contract. and I feel like the the idea of social <laughs> contracts has been strained so hard this past four years. I, I want to try and add in Obama's years, but like, nah, 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 dude. It really was just Trump's years that like the social contract of we are attempting to construct a society that called social contract we're all you know born with, trying to do mutually, trying to agree upon. Mm. This was the year that it actually got tested. Yeah. Not during Obama's years. This is the year. This was the year, dude, when someone straight up stormed our house. Because me and my parents, bro, I remember we were talking about that. And we were just like, yo, I feel like we feel violated. Like someone came Mm. up in our house. Like, Mm. I I don't know a time in America's history of like us being hype about our country that we would have ever let anyone who doesn't like our country step up into our capital yeah, and not yeah, like, yeah. all right, who are we going to war with? Where, where's the nuke drop? In? Right, right. Like, not well, naming a terrorist. Where, where's the terrorist? Where's the nuke drop in? Who we got to fight? Marines are ready. Let's just drop. Oh, it's it's us. Ourselves. It's ourselves. <laughs> wow. Me? <laughs> oh, me. You know? And like now that's where we are, where the social contract is so strained that every, strained. Yeah, every I feel like every other social contract is now being called in question. Kind of yeah. like I don't even know how to describe so, it. So <clears throat> I'll tell you why I don't like going to the uh, grocery store anymore. It's just I feel like because I, I went to Costco not too long ago and it was mad people in there. It was like Saturday, Sunday. First of all, I don't really fuck with people. Second of all, it was too many people in there and they were all doing the same thing. And for me, I feel like I was in some like sort of matrix, but I was like cognizant that I was in the matrix <laughs> and like everyone else didn't know they were in the matrix. Cause it just felt like a bunch of people doing the same thing. It just felt like like drones, drones. Yeah. That's the. It just felt like drones, and I'm like, I, I don't want to be here. I got anxious. I got like super anxious. Like I really wanted to get out, and that's happened multiple times. Like I went to Walmart. I felt that way. It was mad people. Like I don't want to talk to anybody. I don't want anyone near me. When like, and it's not even because of Corona. It's just. Just the, the the presence of so many people in one place. I don't like that. I mean, it's claustrophobic. Like, it's not and I've never like that. I've never gone. To, I don't go to clubs. I don't go to uh, parties like that. Like, I've never liked that. And it, when I'm now in grocery shopping, like, I don't like that. And it's just I feel out of place when I'm there. And it's just so much anxiety when I go to when I go shopping, bro. If it's not like two to three people, <laughs> so <laughs> so much anxiety. So I don't want to do. How that get you then, or how did that then segue into social contracts? Then? Because there's a lot of people doing the same thing. What type and of same like, things do you mean? Like, like at a store? Or do you mean like how like, like like at a store? Like shopping. Oh, so you mean okay? I, I guess sorry. Just the mundane of, of it. Like yeah, them yeah, yeah, showing yeah. through the aisles. Being, being in line, yeah. picking up the same things, checking it, putting checking, it back. Yeah, man. I feel you, the banality it of it weird. all. It felt weird. And I'm like, and but what what was also cool is that they all had an understanding that we were all here to shop. Yeah, everyone knows. We, we yeah. it's, it's a necessity. Shot like Yeah. Bro, it's food, man. Like it's a necessity that we all hate that we have to deal with, but like best believe it's Oh, I don't know about everyone. Yeah, hate's a hate's like, a strong word. <laughs> I fuck with food. Like, if, 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 look at me. I, I shouldn't say that. Uh we don't hate food. We accept that it has to happen uh-huh. every single day, or we are unhappy. Some people love food, or we die. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Or, yeah. or ha- I love food. You yeah, know? yeah. V money loves food's food. Food's great. It's awesome, and you yeah. know, we 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 now have it in such abundance that we can now make it an art form, which is right. beautiful. Super facts. You know, but the, yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. I think um, during just... these trying times, <laughs> that's when like the mundane banality of life's things happen. You know. Yeah, it was just so weird, dude. And I'm like, this is really cool because what if someone comes in here and just starts dancing? And but everyone here is shopping and like, well, yeah, go to Walmart at like I'm, two a.m. Right? I'm glad you know why musicals will never die out as a genre. Yeah, <laughs> that's probably. why people love them because yeah. it's so extra exaggerated, fantastic. Yeah, if you want to see your grocery shopping social constructs be tested, just go to a Walmart at like between. Midnight and 3 a.m. Mm, mm. Wally, 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 Wally World. <laughs> yeah, Wally World's wild. <laughs> yeah. 
So I was just thinking about that, and I'm like, man, what if someone just came in here, started dancing? What if someone brought a set of drums and just started playing drums in the Shook middle of up. the thing and like changed things? Mm-hmm. But just seeing everyone doing the same thing, it just it just messed with my psyche. Yes, yo. You know that that's why New York has that whole scene. New mm. York has a whole scene of street performers who like actively work to uh, kind of forcefully infuse art into the extraordinarily geometric nature of the city. Mm. You know, they try and bring that. Um, what was that freaking quote I heard where it was like art um, decorates space, space. Music, music decorates music time. decorates time, mm. you know? So of course, when you have all these blocky buildings and whatnot, how else can you decorate it? Except yeah. either you paint them or you decorate the space or sorry, the time, the time around them. Yeah. And so you get all those drummers, you get the saxophones, yeah, you get the, all the musicians around. Let me read this, um, this definition real quick because a social contract is a political philosophy. And I'm just going to read, like, the definition, you know, right. just to give you all a little education. This is not the education podcast. You will not learn here. Um, now you'll learn a little bit. We're, we're unique dudes, right? <laughs> we try to be, brother. We try to Round be. of applause for us. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. We try to be, bro. All right, that's enough. <laughs> uh, social contract. In political philosophy, an actual or hypothetical component or agreement between ruled and their rulers, defining the rights and duties of each. In primeval, oh, primeval, primeval, okay, primeval, 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 in primeval times, you can tell I have an English degree, in primeval times, according to the theory, individuals were born into an, an, what, anarchic, anarchic, anarchic state, why did they say, all right, whatever, anarchic. an anarchic state of nature, which was happy or unhappy, according to the particular reason, then, they then, by exercising natural reason, formed a society, aka government or and government, by means of a contract between themselves. So basically, they're Neanderthals, so they formed a society with a government. That's all it is, man. Yeah, like it, social contract is about as like what you see, what you get, as it could be. Like right, people existed in an area. Oh, you also don't want to die. Same, yeah, same. So if we work together, yeah, we also won't die. So it's pretty much an Listen. agreement. But in political philosophy, it's an agreement between us and the government. We will be the people. You will be the government. We trust you to be the government. We sign that contract. You sign that contract to be the government and to govern us. When we mess up, right? Um, I don't know if I like that. Because my thinking is that if we needed us a government to kind of keep us in order, what does that say about our innate nature? Like, does that mean we're just, what, we're just archaic no, to no, begin no, no, with? No, 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 What? Okay, what's important, okay, is a government is always necessary <laughs> in any form of society ever, period. That is evolving now continuously, okay? it Like, animals forever all up over the place. Like, you don't see chimpanzees with governments. You don't see wolves with governments, yet they are together. You don't see dolphins and whales with governments, yet they're together. Humans understand that, like... As we evolve, there are literally too many of us to just have by word agreement. We have to come up with more refined ways to shed our agreements and compromises amongst all who would be affected by them. You know, and like the, the thing is, social contracts exist between a king and his peasants, but also exists between like a dictator and their peasants, but also exists between a court and the people that they make laws for, you know, so. It's a contract between saying, hey, we're going to pay certain people to do this part of the job because we're too lazy to keep talking about this subject. Not everyone wants to write the thousand page bill that lets the Federal Reserve exist or write the thousand page bill that would stop them from existing. There are some people who don't mind doing that. So Mm -hmm. we pay those people to go do that. Mm -hmm. That's a social contract. Mm -hmm. I see that you don't mind writing all those laws. Mm -hmm. I like drawing. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go draw. Please make good enough laws that I can just keep drawing. Are, that would be great. <laughs> you know, are, that's the social contract. Are jobs a social contract? Absolutely. It, dude, money's fake. Absolutely. is a social contract. Yeah. yeah. We may. If I said this paper is worth your laptop and for some unknown reason you said everybody, but everyone God, has you're to right. agree. Yeah, but everyone has to like, oh, yeah, yeah. that makes that's what, exactly. sense. Exactly. Yeah. Whoever right. is involved has to voluntarily right. agree. And that's really all that matters. I see. Yeah, the money the money we have right now is just a medium. Just yeah. medium. For example, if you take a look at like Fallout, the currency there is bottle, bottle caps, caps. <laughs> after the nuclear apocalypse. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Okay. You, you, you just have to you have to choose yeah. where those I guess where those values are. It's just are. where the general populace comes to a consensus on what has value. It, Granted, our money is backed by gold and silver, right? Which also again, that. our metal, our, our mar- yeah. just met random yeah. metals. Yeah. To be to be perfectly fair, to on like a structural level, like gold is shitty metal. It really, yes. like it's it is really, really malleable. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Really yeah, even worse are diamonds. Yeah. Diamonds, are diamonds really are not actually all that useless. Great. They really believe not it or not. Great. They just so, advertising tells you that they're worth something. There's a whole like right, again, about how they're not that great. Put a value on these. Yeah, yeah. There's uh, a whole history behind diamonds. Yeah, it's, it was. It's all just a marketing ruse. Um, is the government too powerful under our social contract? And let me read this long example because I thought it was interesting. <laughs> when you murder someone, a police officer arrests you. And a, a court sentences you to life in prison. Now you may argue they don't have the authority to take you away, to take away your freedom by imprisoning you. Yes, you murdered someone, and you admit that it is wrong. But your argument is not about the crime you committed; it's about bringing in question the authority that a government has to enforce such a punishment. Taking someone's freedom away from them is also morally wrong. Your friends, are, for example, are not allowed to do it. Your friends do not have the authority to punish you. For your crime by taking away your freedom, why should the government have this authority? So let me say that your friends actually would and could have the authority to take away your freedom if they chose to study for eight years, go into law, then chose to go into the field that allows them to make those decisions to be paid to make those so decisions. So there are parameters. Yes. That's, yes. The, that's the thing. That otherwise, it would. If anyone yeah. could judge anyone, and that that's yeah, anarchy. Otherwise, it would go back to that anarchic nature yeah. right. that everyone was born into. Like, oh, you kill this person well I'm gonna kill, kill you back, you kill you back. Yeah. let's duel Tow. and then you guys will kill each other that's the ultimate form of taking away your freedom exactly yeah. by killing you yeah absolutely and so like that yes. really but is it does that give authorities too too much power or do they need to have such power as to keep the society level they have to have the power again I'm to me my personal view governments have to exist a government like that is the name that we have labeled the body of people who help lead a society in ye old Native American communities. The government was the elders in ye old African communities. The government was the elders. It was the people who were wise, knew what the heck was happening uh-huh. around them and then could teach everyone else what was, right. what was happening in America where it's capitalist. We just choose to pay the mm-hmm. people who are should be wise and mm-hmm. know what's happening. Mm-hmm. So it's, it's not that. Um, social contracts or giving a government the authority to take away freedom is giving them too much power. Okay, who else would have the power in our mortal realm yeah. to stop a murderer from continuously killing? Killing people. There, yeah. Who else would right. have the power than yeah. those that we choose to deal with the issue? Not everyone wants to deal with killing someone. Right. Not everyone wants to deal with um, slaughtering their own animal for food. Right. But they're, they're okay paying someone to do it yeah. so they can continue their own hobbies, their own loves or whatever. Someone that everybody agrees has the authority to yeah, do yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. So we all agree okay. on it. So does that mean, so if we could give, if we could have a social contract with the government, can we in turn have a personal social contract? Let's say government's out. Can we have a contract just with each other, each other, just an understanding that Yo, do not kill each other because no. we're all trying to. No, live. it's not possible. Okay, we can we can say it as much as we want. We we really really can try to do it as much as possible. We we can try as earnestly as we want. The second someone is murdered, we are going to get the people in the town who we trust to handle mm-hmm. the murderer to go handle the murderer. Like that's what's going to happen. We're going to get someone who's sheriff like or knight like. We're going to get the Lord who has, who has the armor in the city. That's right. the knight. Okay, cool. Knight, can you go handle the bandits? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That are, you know, who's that are best suited us? to take care of the this samurai, issue? the janitor, right. the, the armed person, the person right. who's down to handle that, who we um, supply, yeah, yeah, pay, yeah. designate to go handle those issues. Yeah, this is a government job. has to exist. Okay. Uh, at least that's my personal. Like, it is. Yes, we want to believe that we can just live in the community, all trade certain supplies and make us happy, live comfortable. We want to believe that. There's too many of us. That's yeah. that's the fact that's the issue. that we keep coming back to. It's it is very possible to get um like fifty people and make a small community and mm-hmm. actually do that. You totally can do that. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of communities that do that, mm-hmm. but they're only small communities. Right. They are not um three hundred tex- three hundred million people. It's in not the country. Texas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not California. Right. <laughs> you know. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. So okay. it, it can be done on a small level, but the second millions yeah. of people happen, 
you have to have those, but, um, you know, that smaller percentage who's okay dealing with it. And even though we have an understanding that if we do uh, break the social contract, commit a crime, yeah. or kill somebody, we understand that the government will come in and the person designated will, you know, take yeah. care of the situation. Even if it was just like a personal, um, but personal even though letter. people know that, they still commit crimes. Oh, they still commit crimes, yeah. You feel me? Yeah. They still commit crimes. Humans, still, yeah. um, we still mutate and our brains still mess up and we still logic things out poorly yeah <laughs> even facts. with you know law enforcement v money what are some unspoken rules that you follow every day that we just kind of like, understand as people right like apart from like are you talking about apart from the social laws that we have yeah. apart from government uh, rules instead of laws yeah, yeah. just like rules yeah. rules like um you got an example? Yeah, like, like I know if you, if you and you and one person are walking toward each other, you instinctively walk to the right. You both just understand. Let's walk to the right of each other. One's not going to go left because someone else is going to go left. Well, there is there are many times where you just do the <laughs> stupid shuffle dance, and, it, and you're like, oh, oh sorry, I'm, I'm, oh, so, I'm yeah. sorry. I'm, Let I'm, me get by you. Oh God, God, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. God. yeah, that happens too yeah. much, honestly. I mean, there's other rules like you can't like. I try not to. Uh, one like, that comes uh, off the top of my head right now is like I won't like walk up to a stranger and like slap him in the face or like, right. "Hey, you're ugly." Yeah, <laughs> even though it's true. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> right, right. Or when you get in the car, you understand, yo, we're both driving. If I'm gonna obey the the laws of the road, you should I also expect obey, you to yeah, obey the laws as well. The laws of the road. Oh, um, I mean, as much as we um, try to like uh, help each other and do the whole sticks and stones thing, like, words matter. And th- oh, that is yeah. something that I actively try and work on as mm. much as possible. Like, yeah, words can hurt and can break bones, okay, and can cause issues. Um, I mean, it's, it's a social contract. Language is probably the biggest social contract out there. Uh, mm. That it, you are literally hoping and praying that the person you're talking to understands what you're saying and agrees with your understanding of what needs to be done. You know, um, that's a strong social contract. Is there a language? Di- is there a difference between courtesy and unspoken rules? Like, if someone tells you hi, you don't have to say hi back. But you know, to be courteous, you would say hi back. Is that like an unspoken rule that you have to reply to to what they said? Oh, well, or if it's, we had or is it, it just yeah, courtesy? I remember having this discussion remember, when we yeah. were talking about your, uh, your security guard lady, your, your security guard, and you, like your mornings. Yeah. That was a funny conversation. <laughs> oh my Forget God. that lady, bro. She's cool. She's cool. Oh, Jesus. No, I mean, I mean, uh, technically, I mean, technically, you, technically, you are not required or no way in You're shape not, or form. Yeah. Oh, that lady, like, uh, anything, anything, I guess. Anything, anything. to be yeah. honest, yeah. but yeah. it is courteous. Yeah. To at least respond with something. So it's, there's a difference between the two. Then. It's, courteous to respond it is an unspoken rule that she will be hella mad after it happens that's what i'll say but <laughs> nah see like but that's even, on her like uh, look i don't even like we're not gonna go back into no, it but no it, it comes to knowing and not knowing like if, if, if it's an unspoken rule you may not be in the culture thus it's an unspoken rule it's a courtesy if you know that it's a thing and you just chose not to do it it's a courtesy to bow back but i don't feel like bowing back yeah sure it's an unspoken rule to bow to elders in this culture. I'm sorry that no one told you that before we brought you here visiting friend. Right. But it's, yeah. an, it's an unspoken rule in our culture. So I think it's more so just trying to describing the same event really is the only yeah, difference see, between that's a, that. That's a, that's a, I'm pointing at my monitor and I should be pointing <laughs> at my camera here. <laughs> see, that's a good point. Cause I know in like different cultures, like, uh, when regarding elders, there is that social construct of yes. like calling them opa yeah. in Korean, Korean, senpai yeah. in Japanese, mm-hmm. yeah. or answering opo in my my culture. Yeah. So yeah. There, there's there's like a lot of there's that aspect of social constructs to where usually you are the older generation is given respect. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, yeah. 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 Exactly. Mm. And it's like an unspoken rule. And yeah. Well, speaking well, of, the, I guess it's not unspoken. I guess you're taught it as a child, but right. And I'm I'm a little yeah. mad because I didn't I didn't have that choice. Right, we didn't have a choice to sign the social contracts that we kind of unequivocally signed. But um, I I think but, uh, it, it's it's it is 
because like no matter what like you do exist because of what is created before you and mm-hmm. like it is yes it's frustrating that we didn't sign the social contract but like nah you're in this world you you, yeah. you now do, you must follow yeah like you do have your parents you well do again have there's the another social construct you, you know? of there's another social construct of maturity like under the age of 18 you are sure. technically a minor yeah. right and yeah, cannot make. But it's different in like a bunch of countries, even right, states right. actually, <laughs> even states. Yeah. But different. minors cannot make decisions, like, legal decisions. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That well, carry weight until you know a certain age. age yeah. of, and even that's malleable because in some states they'll be like, oh no, he's he's twelve. He killed someone. Charge him as an adult. It's arbitrarily yeah. that yeah. So we can judge. Well, yeah, that arbitration is you know? <laughs> ridiculous. Now well, wait, that's a good point. Now at that point, are they breaking the social contract? Yes. And can they get punished for the it? Judge, but is, that's the issue, right? The judge is breaking the social contract because he's being paid to effectively delegate law and judgment, but by the people around. The people around would not want that twelve-year-old, most likely, to be charged as an adult. But. but this judge is deciding to do it. But here's the thing. If there's a, if the, if the law says under a certain age, you are not an adult, can it be, cannot be tried as an adult. Yeah. Why is it that we gave the judge power to change that uh, contract whenever he, he wants? He should not have the power to now, do that. Now, can, can he be punished? Evidently, no, he should. because he we should gave be. him, no, no. No, because we gave him the power to not be punished, right? No. So he could do whatever, he's a judge. He could do whatever he wants. The judge won't go to jail for his ruling. Even though his ruling socially or morally is incorrect to us, the people, people, even have though tried we to signed the contract also. and gave him the job. I, I will say the issue is that it comes down to like state by state, mm. sadly, because like I, I forgot um, it was like an American history class, whatever I was taking. But like, nah, we were researching judges and I was like, no, 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 we we want to feel like all judges would feel the same. But no, it really is state by state. There are some judges who are straight up in the deep south who still will be like, oh, 11 year old boy. That's an adult. He shouldn't have been doing blah, blah, blah. He'll charge him like that. And best believe the jurors will say the same. The people in the audience will say the same because of where they happen to be still. Right. You'll come to Del- downtown Del Rey or whatever. And the judge court down here, you look in the audience, it's literally like this freaking wood floor, every shade of brown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah. like there's the judge I has, there. yeah, he has less incentive. Sorry, I shouldn't say less incentive. There is less of a chance that the judge there will be less fair. Right. To the reality of the situation. He, he will more fairly judge the colors there while in a place that is still influenced by the racism. Yeah. And your point is valid. You know, my the, only, my yeah. only point is that Sorry. the judge can make that decision. Yeah. That, that's the issue. We gave him the that yeah, power. The, yeah, is there. the issue he we gave him can. the power to break the contract whenever. Yeah. And that there's an, there's an underlying issue. There's like, I don't know if it's a moral issue or a philosophical issue or just like a societal issue. It's there. called leftover from racist America's past. Talk to that's him what King. it is. Talk to him, King. <laughs> that's all it is, man. Talk, talk was, <laughs> I wish it wasn't that simple, but bro, it literally just America was racist and we got some racist yeah, things left over. A lot of young black men. Like tried as adults. Who was um bro, there's a <laughs> there's a Facebook post like a month ago where someone was like uh they're complaining about like you know black communities and you know black fathers have to get back into doing blah blah blah. I was like, you do realize there's like an era where there weren't hospitals, schools and things near black communities. So like there was just an era of un- like black people who struggling to find education and help and health and sustenance. Like there was an era of that struggle. Like there, there were a law doesn't need to say N words not allowed mm. to work to stop less fortunate people in this country during that time from accessing right, right, certain right. things. You know, there's ways to work around yeah. the societal rules. So. And they had that social contract and they understood. Yeah, and they understood what it was. Yeah. And they understood Between themselves, it. when they put the sign up, you of color do not enter yeah, here. They know they're doing. And we have all agreed this, even though you don't agree. Yeah, you might not. Us in this faction yeah. agreed. And so we're all going to go against you if you break that social contract. Precisely, man. Yeah, it's, it's going to be uh, it's gonna be it. Um, what, what, what kind of like contracts do we draw with our friends and families? Because Ashton never visits me. At my house, <laughs> even though I moved to a new spot, he's like, "I now hate this man." And I moved to a new me. spot, and he's, he he has yet to visit me. I know you're in yeah, school, now, but you can find time for me. I've, find time I've yet to me. visit your new house too. Yeah, V Money so, has yet to visit my new house. I saw it. I helped. Trey was there. I did. I went. Trey was there. I gotta go again though. It's been a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, 
But we did we, finally grab brunch, though. We did finally after. grab brunch, and we were. It was like we were learned gentlemen at a very yes. nice. Place. It was just Whoa. us. Yeah, I, t- no I told us. Trey like, yo, this place is usually empty during like early brunch when they yeah, first. It was quite open. interesting. I can't lie. I was, yeah, there wasn't a soul there. I ate tasty. like an egg with something in it. What was in the egg? It was a wr egg, and it's like a. It's like a soft. Ah, uh, yeah, I don't even know what it was. Yeah, I it was like a. It's like two spoons of an egg, just womp womp. With super a crustini. light and fluffy though. Super light and fluffy. It was like a. It's a like a whipped egg. With like a bread thing, lemon chili, uh, aioli, something. I don't know. It was really good. It was good. It was good. But it was a single egg. You just eat whatever it is. It was very. It was very egg. like. It was very. Yeah, it's very, <laughs> <laughs> very sophisticated. Yeah, yeah, so High brow, if you will. The tiny spoon and everything. It was nice. Yes, yeah, yeah, yes, yes, yes. With yes. a tiny spoon. Um, what were you saying? Contract. Oh, I was with, saying yeah, contract with friends, right? Friends. So you have a contract with your friend, like. If I'm in a sad mood or if I'm feeling some type of way, I can come to you for help or I can come to right. you for relief. We made that contract. Now, if you and bring in the that same co- vein, there's always that uh, social construct of like the bro code. Yeah, 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 yeah. The bro yeah, code, yeah, 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 girl yeah. code, whatever code we is. It's, yeah, it's yeah, deep. yeah. But yeah, we made that construct. And with our parents, like you birth me. So in turn, I'll respect you to a degree. Now, when I become a certain age, I'm going to need a little bit I respect back. And so we're going to have to treat each other like adults, even though some parents still don't do that. So, mm. um, what's the difference between like the the agreements we make, the social agreements we make in friendships than the one against the ones we make in like relationships, like romantic relationships? Mm. Right. Because one, so one could say it could kind of coincide since, you know, you got to date your friend, you got to date your best friend. That's how you make a good relationship, blah, 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 blah. But I one mean, day, uh, one day a girl could be mean, my friend and the next day I could be like, like eating butt. Like what's, <laughs> what's <laughs> Oh, I like it. We're tying it back to groceries. I like it. <laughs> you get a clap for that. You get a clap for that. Oh I see. <laughs> that was a good grocery oh bar. <laughs> that was a good grocery uh, bar. But, I, but I how mean, do we just make that and, transition? Oh my God. Between friends and relationships, I think there is overlap. Bro, for sure. the only difference between freaking uh, friends and yeah. like relationships is literally like sex and time you spend together. But it's like, just an agreement, no? Am I tripping? It's an agreement that you guys are okay touching each other. That's literally the difference between really great yeah there's consensual touching that's literally it's, it's literally but there's, but there's consensual touching in friendships too yes. yeah but not to consensual this extent touching, of sexual bro. listen oh. Crest you ain't never touched my balls bro you didn't you didn't consent that's never happened I don't exactly so we're relationship ain't happening so you, should, you shouldn't consent I, no <laughs> what, 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 no <laughs> Stop it, Nicole. We don't talk about this. <laughs> listen, <laughs> sorry, Nicole. Look, yeah, all right, dude. Listen, the whole, the whole look, the difference between like friendship and relationships, all right, is like literally consent. That's that's the whole thing when it comes okay. to because I'll tell you right now, there's plenty of friends out there that like I just don't consent to them touching my body. Mad friends without well, then like, they're not my friends. Yeah, like like not yeah. noticing when they're doing it. Like if it's a girlfriend, it's fine for them to surprise you with a butt grab. Right, it's right, weird right. If any friend who like just does that it's weird like but there are also um there are girls who are friends with other girls and like they'll you know they're going to the dressing room together doing whatever but again there's a completely different mentality between guys and girls that, that's just thanks to society though but i mean that's that's just something we all gotta work out eventually but the consent between guy friends and, and girl slash i guess friends whatever is is very different than between Two humans trying to make a relationship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two humans trying to make a relationship. Trust and consent is the whole thing. Mm. Like everything else is neat, that's great. You have other labels and words for how you want to describe love. At its most root base form, it is consent and trust. So, and, well, but, trust first because consent yeah. comes from trusting them. So, but the underlying, uh, like the fundamental, is just a, it's a contract. Uh, so right, yeah, so it's you like, guys like a say, social contract. Yeah, you say to each other, "Hey, I'm down to touch your yeah. butt. Down to touch mine. Cool. Yeah, I'm not <laughs> going to touch any other butts, only yours, and you're not going to touch any other butts, only mine. Dope. And if you touch other butts, I'm going to be very upset because then we call it cheating. Yes, butt touching, y'all. Butt touching. Yeah, yeah. Don't don't touch. It's other all, it's all about informing about the butt. You got to be committed to a single butt. Well, 
depending on the type of relationships you want. Because some a, people yeah. like multiple butts. Yeah, some and people that's like okay. multiple butts, and then the other person also like multiple butts, that's and true. they're okay. Yeah, that's true. That's yeah, true. And as long as as long as you are both agree, consenting adults. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like uh, it's, it's it's coming down to the realization that all of us actually just have the ability to say if you do or don't want to do something, just yeah. ask them. Just ask if they do or don't want to do something. Yeah, and then you can move forward. And you gotta respect the answer. A lot of times, uh, it's That's really right. hard to just um to just ask. You gotta respect the answer. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, uh, just be like the cooler. Hey, can I eat your ass? Yeah, yeah man. Facts. Yeah, and that happens. And yeah, then yeah. You guys are then able, ladies. Listen to like move forward in there. You listen, know? I'm up for adventures, ladies. Hit my line. Yo, honestly, <laughs> ladies, if he actually does let you do that, yo, tell me, please. That's super interesting. Like, that's a hilarious now, trip in general. I'm not going to give you my phone and we get my Google phone. <laughs> but, but in my life. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm sorry, y'all. Uh, listeners, please forgive us for this episode. We yeah, yeah, my, Post my, 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 a comment my or review on this podcast. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's well, another way to like, hit his line. Comment, yeah, review, yeah. A lot of share, blood. all that jazz YouTubers tell you to do. A lot, a lot, a lot, Subscribe. A lot of booty on this uh, this pod. A lot of butt. <laughs> my fault, y'all. Whole lot of butt. We 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 we, we getting there. Oh my bad. Um, uh, do y'all boys find socializing easy? And when is it difficult? Yes and no. Okay, talk to me, King. Like me, like this after growing up, some and like discovering who I am and like getting comfortable with myself as a person. I, I actually enjoy socializing and meeting new people and whatnot, uh-huh. but God damn it. I still get social anxiety. <laughs> Same Z's. A, a big part of it is because I, I, I tend to overthink things all the time. Yeah. And you'd be like, Oh, if yeah. I say hi to this person and say this, what it's are they going to lead to? Oh my God. See, what are the and, then you, and then you just think out every single yes. fucking possibility. Yes. And you end up not doing anything. <laughs> And then you ju- you just sit there in thought yeah. when you could have just gone up and just talked. Talk to, yes, yes, this is me. See, it, I think like chess, right? I think like six moves ahead. Exactly. You, so, you yeah. like you you're you're methodical in the way you plan out all of your steps. Yeah, all of my social engagements are thought out in steps, and if they don't Correct. go how I like, I I like end it. Abort, abort mission. Correct. Because you'll be yeah. like, ah, oh, I gotta go. Gotta go. Or, I got a phone call. Whatever. Yeah, yeah. I'm, yep, someone yep, waiting yep. on me. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're yep. the same. We're the same. See, here the but the thing is, like, if I go through the motions in my head and the outcome doesn't make sense, I'm not gonna do it. Horrible way to live life, by the way. You will meet nobody. I am very lonely. But if, <laughs> if I do it, if, oh my god! But listen, if I but if I if I do the scenario in my head and it, and there's a chance it can go well, I might take the chance. Like shoot the shot, you feel me? No matter like even if it's like a friendship or I mean somebody new uh-huh. or I'm like in a group and someone's introducing me, like I can talk, I can run a conversation. Like if I'm on a date, I can take a conversation where it needs to go. I have no problem carrying a conversation, even if the other person is boring. I'll figure it out. But like to do it myself, nah, nah. I'm cool, man. I am. I don't really mess with people. Um, I am. I am good at doing conversations only because, like, I took acting courses in class. Oh, man. That's the only reason. Can this man act? Um, oh, I tell you. Like, it, I will tell you, it is it is a controlled anxiety attack to be, <laughs> to, to be able to talk um, in front of groups of people. That's all it is. It's, it's controlling. Like, every single time I talk in front of groups of people, best believe my heart is like pounding out my chest mm. every single time. But it's just a controlled anxiety attack. Like yeah. I know it's happening. Okay. I, I knew it was going to happen. So now I'm ready for it this yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. So I can talk through it while it's happening. I, I've learned to keep my wits about me mm. while my heart is pounding out of my chest. Mm. But that doesn't stop him from pounding out of my chest. No matter what, no matter how many times I've been doing it, no matter how many times I, I get up to you know, start yeah, acting. Yeah. Every or speak in front of people every single time my heart starts hurting. Starts hurting. That, but that's just because like I, I don't know. So you're just getting blood to to prepare for the conversation. The adrenaline of doing doing the conversation. Yeah. Um, right, man. Even when it's like new groups of friends, like I am pretty good at meeting new people. I like new, meeting new people, but I think it's just because I'm like I'm an extreme empath. Like I very very easily can connect to the emotions of another person and like the vibe of another person. So if a person comes in with a certain vibe, best believe I'm already there with you. Like I'm, See, I'm already there with you. I can connect instantly with you. Social and social interactions for me are, are difficult because 
especially when it's like someone I don't know, I've never met. I can hold a conversation. I just don't want to because I'm not interested in meeting you. Like whoever, like if I'm I mean, like, that's okay too. <laughs> well, well, here's the thing. I'm not interested in meeting anybody, but that's oh also a problem God, because okay, I also well. need like people, friends humans, and people in my life. Exist like around even, other people. Even my family, I, I, I like disassociate with all the time because when they want to do stuff, I'm like, ah, I don't want to do stuff. It's going to take energy. I don't really, I don't really want to do this. Listen, it is just, cool. it's a bigger issue. Yeah, man. Listen. You you need to find a Zen, bro. You need to li- <laughs> you really need to meditate, bro, because you need to accept that you can't change things, bro. There's some like, things I can change. Listen, li- 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 I'll tell you right now. I'll tell you right now. You need to learn how to meditate so that you can. S- there is hope. There is failure. If you are at either extreme, you are hurting yourself. Okay, like hope is there because the second you have hope, you also have doubt. No matter what. That's just how humans work, man. And like, it sucks that that's the case, but like finding the acceptance of there being hope and failure is how you start moving forward. Right. You know, like I, I, I'm, I don't know, maybe it's just a, a thing I've had. Like I've been going through that thing the past like few months, but trying to come to the understanding of the, the only way to move forward is to accept that, accept that you have failed, accept that you have succeeded. Mm. Let those two forces come together and find like what allowed both to happen. Get the best as- get the best aspects of both and then the best aspect. right. And then yeah. get that amalgam together, create that as you, and you are then the one moving forward. You know? That sounds good, but I'm really comfortable where I'm at. That's also an issue. Damn it, mother. Because that, that, that's going to be like it's like moving a giant cinder no, block. Th- that's why I said meditate. I am, I didn't even say do anything. I only said meditate on the acceptance of hope and doubt and failure because when like when i was hearing you talking about it um just a little bit ago like it sounded more like the you don't want to deal with people because of the possibility that something negative could happen of it or something that requires work could come from it oh super facts I you don't know like and like, like, i i feel you i don't like working you know but like <laughs> i don't like working i feel you never mind i just want to relax I feel you. all the time i feel you I just want to relax all the time. I hate working <laughs> in all aspects, emotionally, physically, a job. I don't like any type of work. I will do it. I don't want y'all to think I'm lazy. I will do it. Need be. But if I don't have to, I will not. Hey Amen. That, that's existence, bro. It's a lot of stuff we don't have to do and just. Don't worry. Yeah, don't worry. Stuck with it. I, I, yeah, I'm, I'm the same way a lot. <laughs> like, I honestly just want to relax all the time. And that, I don't know. Maybe it's depression. Um, we're getting out of here. Yep. Oh, is it, is it already time? It is time, bro. Yeah, man. I know. Gosh. It feels like it, we didn't even do anything, right? It just that went like, by so quick. Yeah. Like, look, like I said earlier, it's probably going to spill over a little bit into the next podcast, with social yeah. contracts and whatnot. Um, it's, that's going to be yeah, that's going to be the final one for the season, right? So no, no. I, or, we got, I think I think we got one more. This yeah, is what this is thirty nine. Yeah. Yeah. We need to do forty. Yeah. So four, yeah, forty is the last one. Yeah. Forty is the last, yeah, last one. So. Um, on that one, we'll give a little glimpse at um, what we'll be doing for the next season and whatnot. And uh, yeah, no, I'm excited about 40 going down, man. Yeah, me too. Because we have we we're gonna have a lot of meetings. We're it's gonna, gonna have be a lot changes of... for next season, y'all. Yeah. It is going to be more refined. We're yeah. gonna be more on point. It's gonna be beautiful, and um, we're gonna get some really dope behind interviews. We want to get yeah, some really yeah. good guests. Yeah, some really good conversations about nothing for y'all. Yeah, and we're <laughs> launching another um, po- another podcast. Indeed. Yeah, because it's, uh, it's in the works. We'll it's in the works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not, not the yet. Works. Relax. Relax. Not yet. <laughs> For now, you could go and subscribe to our YouTube, A Lot About Nothing podcast. Indeed. Or you could follow us on Instagram at A Lot About Pod, or you can follow us on Twitter at A Lot About Pod. Very true. Yeah, you can do all those things. Or Facebook, A Lot About Nothing podcast at A Lot About Pod. Listen, I just keep it nice and succinct so we can all do that. <laughs> you can subscribe. You can comment on this video, please. You can like this. You can share this with your friends. We're looking for an audience. Por favor. All right. I upload the SoundCloud every Saturday. It's coming out Saturday. Right tomorrow. We're recording on a Friday. Indeed. It's coming out tomorrow. I'm going to stay up late and do this for you. Oh, man. Do this for you because I love you. I love you so fucking much. It's so great. I love All right. this, man. I have a huge heart in this huge belly he, that doesn't want to do anything for everyone but he does love you nobody. <laughs> but i love y'all our subscribers Thanks i love subscribers. our listeners i love you guys i'll do this for you all right 
Thank you so, so much for listening, guys. This has been about not, not, this this been has a, been a lot about, about nothing, nothing. y'all. <laughs> Thank you for listening. <laughs> As you can see, empty coffee cup. I, I should have told Shell to get me more coffee. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a lot about nothing, y'all. Peace. <laughs> deuces. Hit him with the deuces, V-Money. <laughs> yeah. All right, we out. <laughs>